Hey everybody, this is Prisoner 830506 reporting from my prison cell at Prison 1, a private contract prison. Um, I'm currently barefoot, um, shackled, and imprisoned for the rest of my life at this prison. I'm serving a, a life sentence. I've been barefoot for over six years. I've been shackled for almost six years, and I've been wearing these particular shackles, which were welded on permanently at Facility 5, um, five and a half years ago. Um, maybe a little longer than five and a half years now. Um, a lot has been changed, changing lately. Um, I'm updating regularly over at uh, patreon.com slash facility5, but I do like to give my YouTube followers updates every once in a while, and I haven't updated in a while, and a lot's changed since the last update. So here's the update. It's probably going to have a lot of content in it. So to begin with, you can see that I have a new chain. Um, this chain is very heavy um, and this is the early photos it was oiled so it's it's more silver now than than black and then it shows in this video um, that's made my feet really filthy because I sleep in this chain obviously it's a permanent chain and um, it's getting in my bed and my feet are rubbing against it and it's my legs and feet are filthy because of this the oil that's on this chain uh, but this chain is super heavy it's I think at their the five eighths inch I mean, this chain is really thick, really heavy, and there's four feet of it now between my between my ankles. Um, so that was initiated for a specific purpose. First of all, um, I used to have a warden that came to the prison on occasion, like once every couple of weeks or whatever, to um, to bring me food and stuff and maintain my imprisonment, basically. Um, that has changed. She's been fired um, by Amy, who owns the prison and me. Um, she is now letting me out of my cell through a remote um, locking mechanism that's on my cell door. She can remotely unlock it. I'm allowed out of my cell for one hour and 30 minutes to drive to the nearest town. She's provided me with a vehicle, barefoot and shackled and chained, <laughs> okay. This chain is long enough that I can actually put leggings on and I've been going out in public for these short periods. Once every um, two weeks, she's, I'm allowed out of my cell to go on this furlough and to gather food basically for myself to bring back to the prison. Um, and that means that when I'm walking, my chains are making sounds. Not too bad though, I've kind of mitigated it with ankle pads and stuff. And um, I'm barefoot the whole time, except I am allowed to wear these um, clear plastic slip-on like sandals um, into the, the grocery store because they don't allow bare feet in the grocery store. And I don't want to get banned from the grocery store being it's the only one within like an hour from here. So, okay. Um, so I am wearing shoes without socks and they're plastic light flip-flop things. Um, that are that are transparent that I wear into the store and then they have to come off as soon as I'm back to the car and then I'm barefoot. Those those are left in the car, so I'm always barefoot. Just 15, 10 to 15 minutes every two weeks. Um, my feet are um, wearing those plastic sandals now. So um, there's that. On top of that, the we have a new plan to um, open the prison soon. Like we've been trying to get the prison open for, for other prisoners to come here for quite a while now. I've been in prison here at this facility, um, prison one for um, two and a half years now, roughly. And during that whole time, we've been trying to work out plans to, to expand the prison, to, to build more cells and to bring, you know, outside prisoners in to the prison, right? Our goal is to build a prison community type network, a long-term imprisonment type community set up where you just come, you move in, and you just stay forever type of situation. Like, I'm a life prisoner. I'm never going to be free from these shackles or these chains. I'll never be free from imprisonment. Um, and I kind of want to have other people, <laughs> other prisoners that are also in my community and, you know, friends, friends of the prison, you know, in the prison. So, um, right now I'm in solitary confinement. Like I'm the only prisoner in this entire facility. Well, this entire facility is one cell. So it's not really like I'm in an empty prison. 
Um, but anyway, our plan now is that we're going to, um, we're, we have another building that's only a 20 foot container basically that we're going to build two solitary confinement cells. Well, technically one's going to be designated for solitary confinement. The other one's going to be designated for consolidated confinement. Um, that means multiple prisoners in one cell with their bare feet chained together. Um, and it's a cramped cell. So that consolidated confinement is a pretty rough imprisonment, but one of the cells will be dedicated to solitary confinement. So those cells are only four foot by eight foot. Um, and they're, we've decided to put um, a security door on those cells that, that has bars and, um, and metal grate, basically. So you can see through to the other cell that's on the other side. These cells are going to be facing each other. So um, you'll be able to see the prisoners in the other cell and they'll be able to see you in your cell. And it's going to be lots of fun. So basically... Um, Rather than the, the mentality of we had before or basically all or nothing, um, you know, building the whole prison all at once, you know, getting a bunch of people in and, you know, building a bunch of cells and stuff, that is just not worked out. Just we're not getting there. Um, so this is a new method that I think will really jumpstart prison one for um, public access for prisoners coming in from the outside. Um, because what we're going to do is we're going to charge $3,000 for 30 days imprisonment. So if you're interested in being a prisoner here, you'll be in a solitary confinement cell. It's a four foot by eight foot cell. You'll be locked in and um, it's going to have all the amenities. It'll have a, a, a metal toilet in there. There's actually going to be a shower head in there. We're, we're calling it a wet cell. So that means that when it's time to shower, you'll just be showering in that cell. You'll be locked in there the whole time you're imprisoned. Um, you'll be able to stay there for 30 days, but you don't have to stay there for 30 days. And that's for those people who, you know, can only get a week off from work or they want to come in for a weekend. Um, the price is still going to be the same. So if you come in for two days, you're going to be paying $3,000 for two days. So, um, but if you can stay up to 30 days. And because of our... Um, our uh, policy of, of non-eviction from prison one, something that, you know, we want to make, make it a, uh, give prisoners a, a feeling of security, knowing that they're not going to kick, get kicked out of their home, basically, because they don't have money. Um, we're trying to fund the prison through um, media. So we're going to have like a weekly show that shows prisoners' lives in the prison. We'll be interviewing prisoners and stuff like that. So um, it's, it's a progress. We we're hoping that that'll be enough to pay for the, the continued imprisonment of those that are in prison at facility five, or I mean, sorry, prison one. Um, and as I said, my cost of imprisonment, the cost to keep me locked up is basically groceries, right? Cause everything's paid for as long as I have food to eat, I can remain in prison forever. Right. And that's kind of the goal of prison one is that we maintain enough income um, from that that vlog that monthly vlog that'll be a pay per view probably set up through Patreon um, through that blog or vlog um, it'll fund the groceries that you know the food to maintain in, uh, indefinite imprisonment basically um, that's the goal of course this new early program isn't really designed for long-term imprisonment, but we're not, we're going to try to stay with that plan. So if you do want to come in and you decide to stay longer than, um, a month, um, you won't technically get kicked out. You'll just be moved from the solitary confinement cell to consolidate confinement. That's the other cell where we'll be packing up to three prisoners um, with their bare feet chained together tightly in that cell. Now I've served like a year and a half or more in solitary or in consolidated confinement when I was in prison at facility five, not all at once, but over the span of the three plus years that I was in prison there. So I know what it's like to be in consolidated confinement. Um, and we'll, we'll have a consolidated confinement cell here. And that's also an option for prisoners who want to uh, experience consolidated confinement 
and want to pay a little bit less because it'll be, I think we're going to charge $2,000 uh, for 30 days in consolidated confinement. So um, that's a possibility too. So anyway, it's really exciting. I'm hoping that we'll be able to get at least two prisoners signed up relatively soon. Um, we're still working out the contracts, so we're not taking applications at this time, but I just wanted to give a heads up to everybody over here on YouTube that things are moving forward. I'm still imprisoned. I'm still shackled. I'm still barefoot. Um, and Prison One is moving forward as of now. Um, so, yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, please come over to patreon.com slash facility5 to get regular updates. Um, we'll be posting over there if um, once the uh, application process starts and we're ready to start taking applications for prisoners to come in. We're going to be really selective on who comes in. You're going to have to, you know, meet certain criteria, and you know, there's going to be some back and forth and everything before you're accepted into the prison. Um, so it is kind of, and we're not just accepting anybody that puts their name in, in the, in the, on the list. Right. So, um, but if you're interested in being imprisoned or you're interested in following those prisoners who are going to come in early, then definitely go over to patreon.com slash facility five and follow us over there. Cause like I said, I'm updating there every week now. Um, because of everything's changing so quickly, you'll be able to see me on furlough. Um, I did a video over there um, showing my bare feet and the shackles underneath the pants that that Amy gave me um, in multiple locations at um, in the city, like filling up the gas, my feet on the on the pavement, um, my feet on in in um, Arby's uh, under the table. And you could hear my chains. Um, this was like the first time I was taken out of my prison cell in a long time. And I was kind of freaking out because I was barefoot and shackled um, in public. Of course, people can see my shackles, but you could definitely hear the chains. And I've mitigated that a little bit. You know, I've, I've adapted. I've been in these heavy chains um, for a little over a month now, I believe. I can't remember what day she put them on me, but um, they're permanent. The shackles are permanent as always, and um, I'm still in prison. So uh, that thing that keeps dropping down behind, that's the uh, that's the belt that I'm using to suspend the, the chain. Like, it's suspended right now. Um, that's what that is that's hanging down. So if, you, if you're wondering, um, it was just falling off the, the desk. I'm just leaning up on my desk in this video. But anyway, um, come over to patreon.com slash facility5. Hope to see you there. Um, I'm answering comments over there as well. So um, if you've commented on YouTube and haven't gotten a, a reply, it's just that I'm not really putting a lot of time into YouTube now. Um, I'm just putting all my efforts into patreon.com. And I answer the comments over there, the questions on the videos. So um, you'll you put in your comment and then I'll answer it verbally. Um, in the next update. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope to see you over there. Patreon.com slash facility five. Have a great day.